Here we have the Canon Travel 2 lens kit. Now this thing comes with a 50 millimeter lens as well as a 10 to 18 millimeter wide angle lens. And this is really good entry level price for people who want to start exploring different lens on their camera. Now this is available for purchase on Amazon. If you do want to purchase it, I'll leave an affiliate link down in the description. The price kind of fluctuates, but again, for two lenses, this is a really good entry level price compared to how expensive lenses can get for a lot of these Canon cameras. So in this video, we're going to take a look at what both these lenses do, the differences between the two, and then hopefully by the end of the video, you'll be able to decide if this is something you want to invest in for your camera. If you want to check out some of the previous videos I've done, I have been using the wide angle quite a bit, so feel free to check those out. We'll of course explore the differences between the wide angle lens and the 50 millimeter lens here. And then I also have the 10 to, no, the 18 to 55 millimeter a kit lens that comes standard with my Canon camera. So we'll do some comparisons between all these lenses and help you guys decide if it's worth the money. So the first one I actually wanna start here is what is one of my new favorite lenses, which is the wide angle. I'm obviously not using it right now. I'm using the standard kit lens that came with my Canon T7i, but this allows you to get so much more in frame if that's something that you're looking for. Now you do have to make sure you're gonna have a lot of light when you're using this lens. The maximum aperture that it gets up to is f5.6 and the lowest is f4.5. So you're gonna have to have a very well lit area in order to get enough light into your shot. It's also really good for video because it has image stabilization built into it, and it also has autofocus built into it as well, and the autofocus is very quiet. If you're filming video, it's important to have quiet autofocus, otherwise your viewers might be able to hear when the lens itself is actually focusing. The wide angle lens is really, really good for vlogging. So if you're vlogging on YouTube, if you do product reviews like I do, and you have a small table and you wanna get more in frame, this will work great for it. If you're going on a vacation soon and you want uh, something that's gonna take good photos and you're gonna be outside where there's a lot of light, the wide angle lens will be great for you. Now, one thing that's not so great about this lens is because it is so cheap, it's completely plastic. So even the back of it, there's no metal piece around it. So if you're constantly changing out lenses, which is something I actually do quite a bit, this might wear down quicker than usual lenses, uh, or at least lenses with metal on the back of it. So something to be aware of, but for the price, it's kind of hard not to at least look at. So to give you guys an example of what the wide angle lens can show, it is on my camera now. You can see it has much more in frame. It's a little bit darker. I haven't really adjusted much. You can even kind of see my ring light here, which is something you can't see on the standard lens, the standard 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Overall, you can just see a lot more in the shot. In fact, this isn't even as wide as it gets. So I'm gonna adjust the camera here. We can even zoom out a little more. You can see a little bit more in frame now. If we zoom out to the 18 or zoom in rather, then it gets a little closer to my face. Again, I'm a little bit darker though, just because this camera doesn't offer as much uh, light being introduced into the actual lens itself. Something that this lens offers a little bit more of. So now we are back to the standard 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. I kind of like the way that this look gives a little bit better on this shot. Uh, the wide angle is great for a few other use cases that I'll talk about more in this video. But for now, let's move on to the 50 millimeter lens. And before we do that, guys, if you're new here, my name is Michael, be sure to subscribe. I'm putting out new videos every single week. And while you're down there subscribing, consider giving this video a thumbs up, it really helps spread this video to more people, get it on their home pages, and helps my channel grow. So the 50 millimeter lens is a much more, um, I guess, precise use case that you would use this lens for. So because this is 50 millimeters, it's gonna be much more zoomed in. The focal length, you can't really adjust much because there's only one. So it's not gonna get nearly as much in frame. In fact, it's not even gonna be that good for video uh, for a few different reasons. It does have autofocus built into it, which is nice, but the autofocus is actually quite loud. It's something that you could hear if you are filming video with, so you'd probably have to use manual focus or not have some sort of fast moving object that you're trying to track because you're probably gonna be able to hear the autofocus. In fact, let's cut to a clip of that autofocus just so you guys can see it. So really just not that great for video. It also doesn't offer image stabilization. So if you're trying to track an object and you don't have the camera on a tripod, you probably shouldn't be using this lens, but even if you were using this lens, um, it's not gonna be stable because there's no image stabilization built in. Now it is a little more durable than the, uh, the wide angle at least. It has metal built on the back of it. So again, if you're changing lenses in and out a lot, this might hold up a little longer. It's not completely plastic. It's mostly plastic, but not completely. And it is gonna be really good in low light scenarios. So this has an F1.8 aperture on it. So it's gonna allow much more light to come into the actual lens itself, as opposed to the wide angle lens that you get uh, with this kit. Now that f1.8 aperture will also give you a very, very nice blurred background effect, something that this camera kind of does. So this, again, this is the, the kit lens that comes with the Canon T7i. 
This kind of gives me a blurred background, not nearly as much as this. So that kind of brings us to what is this lens for? It's really, really good for portrait shots. So if you're shooting uh, someone's overall portrait or just getting their head shot, this is gonna work great for that. You do have to make sure you have enough distance between you and the actual object that you're shooting though. Um, because this is in a wide angle lens and because it's 55 millimeters, it's gonna be much more zoomed in. There's, there's not a lot you can do with the actual focal length. So here's an example of the 50 millimeter lens on the Canon T7i. Now, you can see there's much less in frame, but I have a bit more of a blurry background behind me. In fact, something like the TV behind me might look like it's really far away, but in reality, it's probably only a, a few inches behind me right now. It's, it's really not that far away at all. As you might be able to see, there is much more light on my face because of that 1.8 aperture, so this just lets in a lot more light. Overall, this is a very specific use case lens. You really only want to use this not so much for video unless you have a still object that's not moving, but more so for portrait shots or head shots, kind of like we're doing here, but more so on the picture side of things. Let me know what lens you guys think you would use most if you do end up buying this kit down in the comments below. So now let's cut to the actual unboxing of these two lenses, and we're also going to show you a few different cases uh, of what these lenses can do, what the wide angle can do, what the 55 or the 50 millimeter can do, and the difference between just the kit lens itself. So let's cut the unboxing and take a look at some examples. So here we have the actual unboxing of these lenses. There's a bit more I want to talk about in this unboxing, what you actually get for it. On the side of the actual box though, feel free to pause here if you want to take a closer look. Inside the actual travel kit box, you just get the lenses there. So you have the 50 millimeter at 1.8 aperture, and then we have the wide angle lens, 10 to 18 millimeter. Uh, at various different apertures in the actual box itself. The first one I want to take a look at here is a close-up shot of the 50 millimeter uh, portrait lens that uh, we were talking about earlier. As you can see, this has a much smaller lens that is represented by the actual lens cap there. Um, very, very small one compared to something like the standard kit lens that comes in the actual camera. You can see there just by comparing the cap sizes of the two. We also have that autofocus and manual focus button there. And other than that, there's not too much with this actual lens that doesn't have any focal length zoom. It is stuck at 50 millimeters. Of course, on the back of it there, we do have that metal housing, which will be a little bit more durable when you're changing lenses in and out. But overall, not too much here for the 50 millimeter. Let's move on to the actual wide angle lens. Again, this has been one of my favorite lenses for what I do on YouTube. Uh, and if you vlog, this is going to be great as long as you have good lighting. So let's take a closer look at it. You can see right off the bat, it has a different focal length than the 50 millimeters. So it can zoom in and out, but only 10 to 18 millimeters. And that is going to make a bigger difference than you think with a wide angle lens. It does have that autofocus and manual focus slider there and that image stabilization, which is perfect for video. But if we take a look at the back of it here, when we take that cap off, you can see there is just plastic around it. So if you're changing lenses in and out a lot, this thing's gonna wear down. Of course, since it is a wide angle, a much bigger lens. When we compare the wide angle cap to just the standard lens, there you can see it there. And if we bring in the 55 millimeter lens, uh, it's, a, it's quite a bit different because obviously it is a wide angle. So let's do an example shot here. Here we have the 10 to 18 millimeter wide angle lens. This shot is at 10 millimeters on the wide angle lens. Here we have the shot at 18 millimeters on the wide angle lens. And here we have the shot at 18 millimeters on the standard kit lens that comes with your Canon camera. Pretty much the only thing that has happened here is the photo has gotten slightly brighter due to the aperture differences. And then here we have the standard 18 to 55 millimeter lens zoomed in at 55 millimeters and you can see pretty much just the controller is in frame. And finally here is a photo using the 50 millimeter lens. Shout out to my cat for being a model in this video. But really what you can see with this picture is a very blurry background. You can see the only thing pretty much in focus is my cat's face, which is where the focus was meant to be. So hopefully this gives you an example of what the 50 millimeter can do. So let me know in those comments down below if this is something you think you are going to be picking up for your Canon lens. Again, really good starter kind of entry point here if you're looking to get a different lens and kind of just experiment with uh, different shots in your in your camera or on your camera, in your camera, on your camera, whatever, you know what I mean. Other than that, not too much else I wanna say here about this product or these products rather. Again, let me know in those comments if you guys think you're gonna be picking this up. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you're new here and have a great rest of your day.